Hello everyone, this is our Hillary. So I've been getting this question from a lot of BIM professionals as to how you can actually put your logo on your model. So today I'm going to show you how you can do that. So on screen here, we have the Revit software open. So I'm just going to go ahead and I open any model. So this is a model, it's a, it's a duplex uh, with a basement. Let me just get rid of the section box. Okay, so let's say we want to place our logo on the model itself, okay? And not just maybe appearing somewhere there in the video and stuff like that. So what you do is you come in under the insert tab and you want to go under the linked ribbon and you search for decal. So come here to where you have placed decal and uh, come to create new decal down here. And you want to give that a name. Let's just say uh, my logo and stuff, okay? And in here now, where currently it says invalid image file. So you want to know where your logo has been saved, maybe on your desktop or stuff like that, wherever you've saved your logo in picture format. So you just go to the source, you click on these three dots, and uh, you open up your logo location. Uh, my logo is actually on the desktop in the folder, so I open that up. And you can want to switch this to thumbnails, so you see that better. So I have two logos here. Actually, they are the same, but just different. So I want to go for, say, maybe this one. And I just open that up. And in here, I always just like to set the brightness just to two and all the other settings that allow the same. So when I okay that, then you're going to have this little option that appears on screen, which just looks like the move tool. You can zoom in. Now, depending on where you want to place the logo, you can even orient it to any uh, direction or location. Now, let's just say I place that here. Okay, so I've placed that there. It's looking a little bit weird. I can just press the escape key and zoom in a bit. And when I select this, I have the option to actually move that down a little bit. Now, currently, it's like it is not visible, but that is just because we are not in a realistic view. So if I was to come down here under my visual styles and I switch this view to realistic, now you're going to see that the logo appears there. So if I zoom in real close, I can select that logo, I can resize it to be as big as I want. You know, I can select it. You can actually go into edit type and you edit some properties of the logo or you can load in another logo, like if you click here on exit, it's going to open up back this dialog box. You have the option of selecting another logo and stuff like that. So that is how you do it easy and quick. And this is very good because it helps you to actually place the logo on the model. And uh, yeah, as you can see, so even if this model is finished and rendered and all that, you're actually going to have that logo there. So that is how you do it very easily and quick. Okay, stay tuned for more tips.